Hey, I got a question for you. What's really going on? Maybe you can help me answer that question. What's really going on with AMC stock, these other meme stocks, um, and the whole big picture? Let's take a look at it right now. So let me start by saying this. Um, I've been following the exact same people that you have been following on YouTube, the same YouTubers, and uh, you know, on social media as well. And I've been getting my information a lot of places on YouTube, you know, from a lot of places on YouTube. Um, and 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 we've all been doing that. All the ape community, a lot of the ape community, whether it be on you know Reddit or YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, we're all following the same people. We're all getting the same information, and. I try to bring that information back to you again uh, with a little spin, a little humor, a little fun. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Take this and all my YouTube videos as entertainment purposes only, as you should. But I do try to bring a little bit of flavor to the picture and, and whatnot. So I was a little hesitant in making this particular video because I didn't really know how to present it. But here it is. Bottom line is with all this stuff that we've been seeing from various YouTubers on the internet, on the news, we've become like somebody in the ring with Mike Tyson in his prime, punched the fu punched out, we're punch drunk. We're like, okay, whatever you say, George. You know what I mean? Let's, let's take a look what we do know, or at least what I'm gonna share with you so that maybe you can check this out for yourself and then you can know. Look at, this is my theory. I think it's all in a, in a nice little package ball here. Inside that ball, you've got the government, you've got big tech, you've got uh, the, the, the hedge funds, you've got the people. Think about this. The people with the most money in all the world, all in bed together and all presenting information to you. We're getting flooded and flooded with information. And basically, if it comes through this or the television, the idiot box, it must be true, right? Wrong. Let me ask you this. Did you watch the President Biden the other day? Uh, yesterday, was it? With his speech, he mentioned, go ahead and Google it. When did you ever hear that? He probably doesn't even know what Google is. And he goes, Google it. Big tech. Plug for Google. Right on. Good, good job, Joe. Now, I've been doing some research on my theories here and, and work with me here on this. Um, I've been looking at other YouTubers and I've been looking at their views versus how many subscribers they have. I've only I've got about 6,000 subscribers right now. Thank you very much if you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications. Here's the deal. A lot of these guys, like the big influencers, like you know who I'm talking about. I don't mention any names here on the channel. Not about that. But some of the big ones, even the biggest ones, and I've heard this on some of the other channels today, is people are concerned about their viewer count per video recently. And what I mean by that is they seem to think that their subscribers are not that interested in AMC stock anymore and that's why they're not getting views. I don't think that's the case at all. I think our view counts are being throttled by YouTube. Guess who owns YouTube? Yeah, Google. I'm gonna be very interested to see how many views I get on this particular video if you know what I mean. Because like I said, I've been looking at other YouTubers who have massive following, 600, 700,000 subscribers. When they hit upload, do you know how many thousands and thousands of people get notified that that video has just gone live? A lot, a lot, a lot. But yet, I see the view counts subsiding. Again, maybe it's me, maybe I'm just looking into this a little too far, but you be the judge, you make up your own mind. And, and remember, take everything what I'm saying in here and move forward with it and, and make up your own mind, you know, because this is what I'm seeing. And it just makes sense to me. I've been doing this stuff a long time. I've been doing YouTube videos. I've been doing search engine optimization. I've been doing, you know, social media management where I had some very high end clients. And I think I know what I'm talking about here. Let's take a couple steps back. I strongly believe in this AMC play. I strongly believe there's gonna be a short squeeze. Are we gonna see the lofty numbers that everybody, including myself, have been talking about? I'm beginning to doubt it, and but I do think we're gonna make money. Don't get me wrong, 
we're going to make money. Look, if you came in at $4, $8, $9, $12 dollars per share, even $30 dollars per share, even $70 dollars per share, anything above that you're making money. Don't forget that. Is this going to crush your dreams? No, it's not going to crush your dreams. This is going to this play, this AMC thing is going to happen whether you like it or not. We're going to get paid. But how much we're going to get paid and you know, you got to think about it realistically. You know what I'm saying? Is there if you look at the the numbers, I mean one of the other guys is talking about the numbers. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. If you think about the average person having X amount of shares, is that 500 shares, is that 1000 shares? If you look at the millions of people that have AMC stock and how many people have, you know, what's the average? Times that by some of these numbers. And you got to think about who's got where, does the United States of the world even have that kind of money? So, you got to think about it realistically. I'm in a position where I'm looking at this where I'm going to be extremely content with a fat profit. Is it going to put me into 20 different Lamborghinis and six different houses beachside? Realistically, I mean probably not, right? It's fun to talk about these numbers. It's fun to talk about these million dollar numbers, but is it mathematically possible? Yes. Is there enough money on the planet to sustain that? No. Now, obviously, I personally and and take your number, your number's your number, my number's my number. Personally, I'm going to be watching this like a hawk. It's my money, right? I'm going to be watching this like a hawk and I'm going to make sure that I'm on top of my game when it comes to hitting that sell button. I will still have a certain amount of shares that I don't sell just in case it goes to those sick numbers. I'm not that greedy, you know, really, let's talk realistically. I'm not that greedy. I'll take what I can get. And if I can make a lot of money on this play, not kajillions of dollars on this play that's not feasible. I mean that's not realistic, is it? But we're going to make money on this play. We're going to make money on this play. Whether it's going to be a managed severely managed event, like does the Fed step in? They may have to. This thing is that big that they may have to. And don't tell me that they haven't been looking at this since it started. Don't tell me that the Fed has it known the stuff that's been going on in the market. You can't tell me that. That's complete BS. Okay? They've been knowing this for a long time. What had happened was when Wall Street bets popped up and all the retail started jumping in, this thing got out of hand real fast. And they were so far, you know, buried with this, they were like it took them maybe that long to figure out what we're going to do. But now they're jumping in with the DOJ and they're jumping in, thank God, with all these things we're going to revamp the market and things aren't going to be the same as the, as they used to be and that's a good thing that's good for the american economy that's good for the stock market that's good for the world really so i think they're going to let this thing play out to a certain extent i don't think we're going to see those sick numbers i mean come on like i said there's not enough money on the planet to satisfy those uh those numbers but you know the us we're not going anywhere the stock market's not going anywhere you know, you got stock plays that are happening in the future that we're going to be talking about that are going to be beautiful. Again, not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. But you know, they got to watch their butts, the Fed, the government, the financial world. They got to be able to protect themselves moving forward because if they screw out AMC holders or or any of these meme stock holders, we're expecting to get paid. If we don't get paid, you don't get any more of our money. And that's a worldwide consensus, right? So, yes, I think they're going to let this thing happen for us. Yes, I think we're going to get paid beautifully. I don't think we're going to get the numbers we originally thought we were. And that leads me to my next point. Allow me to be incorrect. It happens. Let's talk about and, and and I want to tell you this. I want to say I'd rather be incorrect and share this with you, my thoughts, than be correct and not have said anything. Do you know what I mean? I think you can respect that. Let's talk about these trading apps. Let's talk about the fact that for instance, some of them you can't call them. 
what happens if this thing rips off and there's a problem, there's something going on. I just did a video about this. Check it out on the channel. What happens if something goes wrong? You can't contact them. You can email them, but what's that? What if they don't get back to you until tomorrow and this thing's ripping? You know, they don't even hold your shares, your property. A clearinghouse does. You can't even get in touch with them either. What's a guy to do? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? Let's take a look at these trading apps that are out there. You know, these electronic brokers. A lot of them are from China. Um, you got Weeble. You got a bunch of different ones. Moomoo. Moomoo. I mean, let's think about that. These, what if big tech, government, China, you know, um, they're promoting these things. We're getting involved in these things. Let me tell you something. These apps, you can't, you can't get into these, uh, you know, certain apps in countries like uh, the United Kingdom, Canada. There's countries that ban it. You just can't get. Why do you think that is? Got to think about that. Um, you know, these. If 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 this thing explodes and you're in one of these different types of electronic apps. Ones that are not U.S. based, you got problems if this thing rips, right? And if enough people are into it, that can offset the numbers that they're going to probably have to pay out, right? You got to think about stuff like that. You got to have a, a critical mind. You really got to analyze everything that's coming your way. Who promotes these things? YouTubers like me, I, I, I've promoted Weeble, I've prom and I think in general these apps are good in general because like I said, I've used Weeble. I've traded stock on Weeble, crypto, liquidated, transferred into my bank, no problem. But when it comes to something like this, and, and to my knowledge, I don't know when these companies started, but they haven't been really heavily promoted like they are today until recently with this AMC squeeze, getting people in. I'm just saying. Not to mention the potential invasive software code that these apps may have on your phone and on your computer. Got to think about that. Is that a possibility? I'm going to be doing videos down the road on how to protect yourself and online privacy. You're going to want to subscribe to the channel you're going, to get, you're going to want to get notified when I do those videos because they're important for you to know on how to keep yourself safe on the internet. I'm telling you, you got to look at all this stuff. And who promotes these things? Big tech. Okay? You know, you got to understand. Look at, look at Facebook, for instance. Facebook, big tech, Google, YouTube, they've got psychiatrists, psychologists, genius level people working for them to determine what they need to do to get you hooked, to get you convinced that their platform is the best, to get you, you see people on the phone, they're feverishly, look around you, look, go to a restaurant, look around you. There are people addicted to that cell phone. You know it, you may be one of them. I know I am. Well, not so much anymore, but you get the point. And the reason being, uh, the reason I say this is because it's all tied together, man. It's all together. It's all set up together to get you hooked, to get you baited. Like I said, the cell phone is the chip. Remember the chip they were talking about years ago that they were going to implant in everybody? And everybody's like, no, we're not doing that. The cell phone's the chip. They can track you. I'm going to do a video on this. Trust me, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and watch. You're going to like that. Um, but that's it. I mean, Weeble and and Moo Moo, and, and they offer all this stuff for free. Free, it's free, right? But at what cost? At what cost? So think about that. Let me again say this. Do I think we're gonna make money with AMC? Absolutely, positively, yes, we are gonna make money with AMC. But you gotta be realistic about it. Keep that in mind, you gotta be realistic. I'm very curious to see the video count, the, um, the viewer count rather, on this particular video. Organically, we should be up in the thousands. And again, this is a new channel. This I've started this in April. I really didn't start banging this out until a month ago. Really, check my stats, check my YouTube videos. 
a month ago we've gained over 2,000 subscribers and again thank you very much if that's one of you if not maybe you should consider subscribing but I'm a small channel and I still get thousands of views I got one video that's pushing over 20,000 views that's unheard of and I'm curious to see what this video is going to do the reason I'm saying that is, are they going to throttle AMC videos from now on? Not just my channel, but others, because I see that happening. I think I see that happening. We've got guys on YouTube that have said that today, that they're concerned about their viewer counts with their AMC videos. Are they throttling this? Who knows? Let's find out. What they cannot throttle is you sharing the video on your social media platforms. So if you get this video, please share it. Let's see what happens. Also, if you've stuck around this long, I'm realizing now we're going almost 30 minutes. Thank you for sticking around. I didn't mean it to be this long, but I, uh, you know, had to say what I had to say. Um, I'm going to also have this video up on Rumble. There's a link in my description box for Rumble. Click on it. Follow me over there. You'll get all my videos as well. Rumble's a cool platform. Um, you'll like it. It's, it's one of those platforms that there's no holding back. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Uh, Rumble's cool. Look, if AMC shareholders, GameStop shareholders, if, if we don't see beautiful gains, because we know the numbers, we know what's been happening, we know the numbers, we know what the hedge funds have been doing for years, we know this, the world knows this. So remember this, if we don't get paid, there's gonna, they're gonna lose, everybody on the planet's gonna lose all faith in the US stock market. They're not going to let that happen. So I do believe we're going to get paid. Unless, of course, there's something much bigger that's really going on that we don't know about until it happens. I mean, who knows what's really going on? Have you looked, have you watched, you've been watching YouTube, right? Have you been noticing all of a sudden now there's these tactical fanny packs and all this craziness going on? I, I don't remember seeing that many of those recently, uh, at least at all, really. What's, what's really going on? Uh, the other thing I want to let you know about is this. How much do we really know about the YouTubers that we're following? Like, you don't know about me. I, mean, I know you don't know about me. I don't know about you. I think you can tell by my the way I present stuff to you that I'm a real guy. I'm just like you. I'm a regular Joe. But how much do we know about these people that are, that are, are influencers? Think about that for a second. Let that sink in. How much do we really know about these guys? How much? You know? I mean, think about it. You got people on YouTube that are also on Instagram and are on Twitter. Now, keep in mind, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, these are platforms. Let me think. Instagram is owned by Facebook. Okay? Very, very, you know, liberal outfit. Very big tech. Very in bed with the government. Very getting away with murder, you know, kind of stuff. And Instagram, YouTube are allowing certain individuals to really blast out certain things and use certain language that, come on, they, would, they, they banned Donald Trump, but yet this stuff's okay. Here's another example. You got guys out there that, you know, here, here's another one. And, and again, I'm not mentioning any names. I'm not shooting any... Sh there's no shots fired over the bow, but I want my people, my public here, to realize something. In sales, and I've done precious metal sales, I've done business opportunities, I've done heavy duty phone sales work, like a broker, as a matter of fact, I was, I had my commodities uh, license years ago. So we have in the commodities business and in sales in general, uh, a phrase that's called the takeaway. Okay, let me give you an example. A guy, I've got a guy on the phone. He's interested in my product, my precious metal investment, my whatever. He's interested in this, but he's bucking a little bit, you know? He's giving me that, yeah, I don't know. I got to talk to the wife about this, you know? And, and the, the takeaway is this. Well, you know, Bob, I've got other guys that have been interested in this, as I've mentioned to you. Um... You know, this is probably not for you, Bob. I mean, this is the kind of money that's life changing. And, but I'm afraid this, it, it's just not for you. Have a great day. And you hang up on him. It's called the takeaway. You know, this guy's on the hook. You know, this guy's just yanking at the, at the hook. He wants this bad. 
His wife has given him, you know, some problems about it, but he wants this real bad and you just ended it for him. Within minutes, that guy calls back on the phone. I'll say seven out of 10 times, the guy calls back on the phone. So let me give you an example. You had a guy recently, and I, I follow this guy. I like this guy. I find him entertainment, entertaining. I find him, uh, I, I have no problem with him. The only problem I have, and I gotta be candid with you, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta share it the way I see it, because that's how I protect not only myself, but my viewers. I think you should know this stuff. You got a guy out there that said, I'm done, I'm not doing AMC anymore, no more videos. And this is after creating some really, you know, uprooting, you know, very, very exciting videos. I mean, woo, we're gonna make money, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden he's not gonna do videos anymore. Have a great day. Not 24 hours later, he's back doing videos again with a story of why and whatnot. Whatever, could be valid, hopefully it's valid. But I gotta look at everything, man. I gotta take a look at the whole picture. And I gotta share that with you. You know, who knows? I wouldn't put it past anybody if some of these YouTubers are working for the Fed. If if some of these YouTubers are working for the hedge funds. If they're feeding us some stuff to get in our heads and make us all punch drunk. But the bottom line is, the way we see the numbers, this is a short squeeze play and we're gonna make money. I mean, the way I look at it, we have to make money because if we don't, I would think that's the end of the, the, the financial world as we know it. And then of course, then there's crypto and we'll be talking about crypto on the channel too. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some videos either tonight and tomorrow on some cryptocurrencies in the gaming metaverse that I think you're gonna to wanna to see. So definitely subscribe to the channel with notifications. That's right down here with the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know in the comments section below, please, what you think about all this. I mean, is this, is this something that tin hat theory kind of stuff or, you know, cause I, I just think the way I speak, I want to share it with you. Like you're my friend, we're friends. I'd like to think that we're friends. We're building a relationship here. But is this, is this, is it, is it reality? I mean, what's really going on? You know, the numbers are the numbers. We know what, where they're at. We know this is the hev most heavily shorted stock in American history. And there will be a movie about this someday, trust me. This is bigger than 2008, you know that. Look at all the hype leading up to a short squeeze like this. Wow, <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm honestly happy to be a part of it, but I can't wait for it to be over already. You know, because there's so many other opportunities out there. And this could be a deflection play on other opportunities. Who knows? But what I do know is that if you invest smartly and you do your own due diligence and, you know, you get your sources, you get your news and your due diligence from many different sources, reputable, preferably, uh, and do your due diligence, you know, you can make a lot of money in investments. I think moving forward, cryptocurrency is the money. I think there's going to be a lot of stocks that are going to be gold in the future. I just did one on Tesla. I think Tesla's going to be huge. I mean, mega huge in the future. Uh, and there's others. There's others. There's others. So please leave me some comments down below. I'm real curious as to how many views this gets. Please, you know what? Do me a favor. Share the video. Because if my theory is correct and YouTube is in fact throttling views on all of our AMC videos, if what they can't throttle is you sharing. So if you get this video, if it comes across and you're watching it, smash the like button, share the video on some of your other social media channels, and let's see how much, how many views this video can get. Because it's important for people to know this, right? Even if I'm totally out of my mind and I don't know what I'm talking about, I think I do, and I think you can see that. It makes sense. Everything that I've said, go back over this video again. Redo it, listen to it, because I think you'll find it makes sense. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below. Have a great day. God bless.